Looks kind of dead towards the base. All right, thank you. Bridge, no. Very wispy looking polyps. There's something on the rock that the lasers just Let's touched. Let's do same, same, same. Yeah, down underneath. Thanks. I don't think so. Okay. How long? How long is it? Yeah, like currently, maybe about two hours. Two we point four. Yeah, we will not make that. We I need uh, about two hours and fifteen minutes for ascent. Uh, yeah, with no, with no, not being conservative. So two twenty, two twenty five, which means we're off bottom at. Uh, 9.40, 9.35. I think that's what we were guessing, right? So we have an hour. Yeah. yeah. Depends how shallow we get in the meantime, so. Yeah, yeah I think we have about, uh, what, five minutes more? Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's see how far we can go. Do you think going faster will help, or like this is just? Ah, it's up to science. We can move faster. Science? What oh, do you, you like Paula? Uh, are, are we good at the speed? Yeah, we could move faster so we can reach. Yeah, like um, okay. I don't think we'll reach 3.4, but we yeah, can just get. We don't have. There's no place we really have to reach. So yeah. it's whatever you want to do with biology. Okay. It's, it's your call. Work. Let's go look at this. Because sure. geology is not going to change much. <laughs> So next move, let's go point three. Is that all right? Yeah. Let's zoom on this thing, please. Yeah. It's another different coral. Bamboo. Unbranched. With no guests. Oh. No guests. No one invited. Thank you. Thanks. Rob, would these oh, be more black on the background? low bait flows? Yeah, I would say a lot of these are low baits. Oh, snap. With a, with a mix of uh, tubes, too, but for the most part, low bait. Tube-tastic. This is like the classic with sheet flows and pillows on a slope. What's the difference between sheet flows and pillows and a low bait flow? Well, on a steeper slope, I mean, they're, they're very similar. It's, it's very subtle differences. I mean, you could have a low bait flow that's just kind of on a flat area as it comes out. But what we're seeing here on these steeper slopes, the lava comes down. It has a slightly different character to it. But it still is a low bait flow mostly. But oftentimes, the low bait flows evolve into a pillow mm -hmm. as the uh, eruption continues and the, the amount of uh, lava decreases. Okay. All right. I can see that. Although these don't look very pillow like to me. I wonder if um, we have a like a a post on Nautilus about the different flows. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Be nice to represent geology. What would what what would these be called? Like geological or volcano 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 flows, rock flow formations. Lava flow formations. Lava rock flow. <laughs> I don't think we have anything to be honest. It's all right that I'm giving you some delta, yeah? Roger. A 
think we have another big um, barnacle here. Whoop. Zoom in, please. Or is a dead, dead sponge. And one of those polka no, dot anemones. No, it's um. Dead. Dead. It looks like it's uh, the barnacle, but it's already dead. Thank you. We have a shrimp in the cinema cam. Shrimp. Laser blasted shrimp. Shrimp. Beep, beep, beep. Chat asks, didn't you guys collect some rocks that were really thick chunks of nearly all manganese crust? I think we did, right? Yes, we did get some pieces like that. Pretty surprising. Was there, what, how, what causes just crust? Oh, sorry, hiccup. <laughs> well, I, maybe just a condition we just right had a long exposure. Uh, I mean, we still have to cut it open and, and look at it more detail to make sure that's what it is. Mm -hmm. How does the manganese get in the water in the first place? It's just dissolved coming in from the oceans and from the hydrothermal vents. It's all the things that uh, Maranke was talking about, how they detect hydrothermal vents. That all that smoke that's going out is uh, you know, plumes of uh, dissolved metals. Right, okay. And a lot of times that's the stuff that when you find uh, accumulating close to the ridge axis, but uh, there is, uh, you know, some of this manganese and, and cobalt that's dissolved throughout the ocean. There's something in the cinema cam right under mm -hmm. that square rock. Shrimp. Is it a shrimp? It was yellow. Under the shrimp, under the square thing. Shrimp, it's I see it. right by there. Is it a snail Bleach, shell? No. Oh! I don't see it. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Is that what you want? It's yeah. Like, yeah, there's uh, one here. There you go. Thank there you. we are. Let's do same thing. please. And increase speed to 0.3 knots. There's a snail shell. Cool. Oh, snail. Snail. Good job, Roger. snail. Roger. Thank you. It's so iridescent. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. We just sped up to 0.3 knots, so we should see that action in a couple minutes here. Roger. Why don't uh, we have a little look to the right and left and see what we got going on as far as slope steepness and... Oh, oh yeah. look at that sheet flow. And shrimp. Shrimp. Everywhere sheet flow, we right? go, everywhere we look. Shrimp or sheet flow? Yes. <laughs> Both. Sh I think the shrimps rule the world. Just shrimp flow. Flow. What happens? What happens at the end of this uh, shift if nobody gets the word of the day? Do you roll it over? Um, I could, or I could just think of a new one that I could tell you guys, so you're not like spending, you know, 20 yeah. plus hours sweating. I, I think it should be like a lottery, you know. A lottery? Yeah, you like you have a, a drawing at the end to say what it is. And if no one gets it, then the money just goes forward. The money is in the stickers. Yeah. We can do that if you want. Can keep, chat guess? Keep the word double the stickers. Sure. All right, well, I only have so many stickers I brought with me, <laughs> so. Limited supply. But I've seen them, I've seen the goods. Have she you? She has them, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so gave her pick. 
Is that a cucumber? What cinema? is this little orange thing? Zoom in the orange thing, please. Ugh. Is that a little Tiny. spray? Cucumber? No, that's the cucumber. Oh. It's the thinnest cute little cucumber I've ever seen. It's cool. not finding food Thank too you. well. Thank um, you. Chat can guess the word, but like they're not going to get the prize. <laughs> You're not going to mail stickers to them? Uh, How do you make the stickers? Um, so I, I draw the image, or I'll take it from a drawing, and then I'll... Um, take it into Photoshop and get rid of the background and kind of clean it up and mm -hmm. shrink it to size and make a white outline. And then I have one of those Cricut machines. Do you have a which machine? Cricut. It's um, like a, la not a laser cutter, but like a, you know, a automated cutter shrimp. It's like a home use 2D CNC machine. Cool. My wife has one as well. And how do you print them? I just have a inkjet printer, like something, it was, it's a, called a workforce it's it's a it's like an office printer very okay Ooh, a star you don't need special oh. ink or anything no i print them on uh vinyl paper so they last um weather and stuff cool what is in here oh good question oh, i whoa, think what it's is a, some things i think it's a tunicate tunicate all right i'm gonna tilt up and go down uh, can i make it Yes, I can make it. Right, right. I feel like we find tuna kits a Maybe lot on the on, size of rocks. Downlight on? Yeah, let's try that. Roger. It's a better Do you want me to works. turn the side lights on, too? No. Okay. Uh, that's as stable as I can get, I think. Go ahead there, Dave. Tuna kit. Oh, look at that. Wow. It's weird. Have, a, have we seen one of those yet? Don't think so, no. I'm not Bump sure, left. yeah. Ugh. It's a nice shot. It's a bubble. Wow. Is that its mouth? Do they have mouths? The, yeah, the, uh, if it's a tunicate, right, the, I'm not sure oh. they are a colonial organism, but they form a big mouth. Paula, oh, you have a good eye. Like, <laughs> yeah. the sighting is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Which monitor are you looking at to figure them out? Are you looking up both, here? Both, uh, no, I'm looking at my monitors. Okay. She has um, both next to each other. Nice. Oh, I, s I see. The cinema cam and the main Zeus cam? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> She's able to block out right, the rock. This is the um, genus Megalodicopia. Tunicate. She also can spot things from like sitting on the couches in the lounge. Oh, is that? <laughs> like, Especially spot lobsters. Yeah. <laughs> All yep. of a sudden she'll just jump up and go, ooh, and then she'll like run to the screen <laughs> and then point at something and we'll be like, oh my god, how did you see that? Do you spend time reviewing ROV footage for cruises you were not on? Uh, I have done that, but uh, I used to do that when I when I was not uh, doing my postdoc because I had more free time. <laughs> now, <laughs> now I'm very busy, but I enjoy doing that. Do you watch it at twice the speed? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Does no. someone do that? Yeah, the person we've worked with has nav and science. Uh, Megan Putz, she works with the University of Hawaii, uh, works with ROV Luukai a lot. She's come out several cruises out here, and she also reviews a lot of ROV footage, and she'll watch it at two times, whatever, double or triple speed or something, because she annotates all the videos. Nice. Oh. It's a lot of work. Huh? It's a she, lot of work. And she can Please, see huh? everything. everything. And yeah. she can identify so many different species. Same, same, same. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. 
Thanks. Hey, is it just me or do our wraps look a little bit nicer? On the drum? On the drum, yeah. Because we're deeper. Oh. I got real excited there. <laughs> Maybe they will be better. Maybe. Were you insinuating Maybe. that you were a rap artist? <laughs> Oh, we have an Ambelula. 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 Umbelly, umbelly patterns. Do we have a, a sea star coming up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we uh, might. Look at that. Yep. Are we sampling it? Yes, we, we have one. You don't want another one? Uh, I guess it's similar. Can we zoom in? Go ahead. Uh, tilt down more, please. Thank you. Yeah, let's. Let's get it. Okay, come wide, Just please. Just in, in case it's different. Yeah, they said the last one was orange with yeah, a this seven pink, centimeter right? arm span. It All could right. be different. Can I get the uh, suction so cam, please? I know there's something collect. in the suction hose, but I'm gonna try to use it to put it in the. Is does either box have a uh, space for Steve a? Sa Steve says I'll put it in Omega. Put it in Omega, Roger. Do you want bubble and craft? Please, yep. And downlight. Roger. Can you line up the sh jars with the flush jar, please? One moment. Hello. Jars. There we go. Oh, I went the wrong way. Why did I do that? <laughs> there it is. All right, video, please zoom in. How much suck? Good there. Uh, well, let's start low. Let's do 30%, uh, 40%, please. Oh, it's kind of small. Oh. I think it might actually go up in the jar. I hope that's OK. What jar are we on? Two flush. in the flush? Oh. There's something else. Oh, there's the urchin. Urchin's in flush. Can they be in the same jar? Yeah, they can be in the same jar. And they okay. were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> so the urchin did make its way out of the tube then? Yeah, it's Wait, in the... Wait, come wide, please. Is it going to... Can it come out of the flush jar? Uh, maybe. No, um, because where they are, are we here? very uh, slow. Can you please be ready to... Actually, can you rack the camera back, pan until it retract? Yes, sir. And we can be ready for opening the box here. Okay. Uh, you can open. Uh, stand by. Okay, you can open the box. Let's try that. Good there. And you can turn off suction. That's zero percent suction? Yeah. There we go. Omega. Okay, well come wide. Oh, you're already wide. You can close the box. What's the sample number data? And you can turn well, off suction. Oh, you already turned one off one suction. One zero. One one zero. Go. Thank yep. you. Uh, there goes the urchin, I guess. <laughs> Where, yeah, where'd the urchin go? I don't see it anymore, so. Maybe it's stuck at the top. Can you find me in the camera, please? Roger. And I'm going to be coming underneath you, so you got to come up on Delta. A lot of stuff happens all at once for sampling. I am impressed with chat because um, Veronica said that tunicate was a 
megala odictocopia, and that's what Steve said it was. Good job, chat. Booyj, nub. Able to find me in camera? Please, let's do sim sim sim. You're right there. Thank you. Oh, that's just a sponge. You want to down more than up. Yeah, there I am. Did we ever collect a slime star? Not slime? this cruise, I don't think. No, not for this cruise. Do any of the suction jars have no samples in them? Two and four, but I've heard from the other data loggers that the suction jars are out of order. So. No, I don't know why they keep saying that. That's not. All right, I'm gonna line them up with. Uh... Two and four are open. Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Just because we ha now have a sample in the flush jar, I'm gonna line it up with four. Theoretically. So that the urchin doesn't. Yeah, there was. It was in there. Um, yeah, but what if it got sucked out? There's filters. Oh, there's filters in the flush. I mean, there. There's not. Uh, 200 micron there, uh, one centimeter. But that urchin looked bigger than a centimeter, I think. We'll find out. Yeah, if we suck stuff up, we don't want like marbles going through the pump, so that prevents yeah. that. I'm worried about the urchin <laughs> going in there. All right, uh, switch my cameras back. Okay, and bubble on porch, please. That took a lot of recovery from that. Roger. But we're back, back in normal operating mode. Back at it again. We don't want the urchin escurping. Oh. It's <laughs> <laughs> a stretch. Annabelle, it seems you have something behind you or somewhere. On the left sonar? Yeah. That's a some weird noise artifact. If, oh. We'll talk more later. We yeah, we absolutely can. Uh, go ahead, Dave. Is there a guest? Looks like it. Some guest. Barnacles. Barnacles. Barnacle. What's in the middle there, though? Is it a crinoid? It is. It's a crinoid. Yeah, nice. This is All right, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, some weird noise there. Hmm. It's not real. Is the wall is real? real, but the other stuff is not. I, I, yeah. Let's see. Am I still dreaming? What it could be is a reflection off of the frame onto the wall, and then the wall back up onto the frame. The good part is that it's not in the inner wing, so <laughs> it's less scary. Yeah. <laughs> chat a question <laughs> you guys mind so for the chat members that are part of the the ocean watching discord right you guys watch a lot of this are you do you guys work in science are you or, or do you have like other jobs and this is like a, a passion like a hobby squishy let me know chat 
Can we zoom in on this uh, squishy, please? Holothorian. It's a pig. It's yeah. a pig. Oh, a pig in the breeze. How majestic. Is it taking off? Do the the pigs swim like the cucumbers oh. swim, right? Tip it over. Does it want to? Uh -oh. Does it uh -oh. want to? Uh -oh. Take off. Rob really wants to see a cucumber poop and take off. <laughs> <laughs> It's extra thrust. <laughs> nah, just readjusting. Just cannot get enough of that sediment. Yeah. All much, right. Much, much, much. Thank you. How many of these have we seen today? The pigs? Like, oh, oh we, we a we should lot. start a count for the next time. A pig pile? <laughs> pig pile! Pig pile. I feel like we've seen like five. Yeah, like, that sounds right to me. Any fish, though. But you know what we have seen plenty of? Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something? That white another circle? Underneath. Here? Yes. It's another sea urchin like the, the one we collected before. And the shrimp. Zoom on that, please. And a worm? Yeah, there are some spongy debris here too, and so maybe there's some debris. sponges above. I remember yeah. the the name yeah. of the genus what could yeah. be Histocidaris. We each enough. I'm gonna is check. Is that the same one they, Please they collected earlier? Please let's do earlier? Let's same, so. same, same. Yeah, it looks very similar. All right, thank you. I'm gonna go. Okay, thank you. Chat answered my question, and this is really cool. Davina said it started as a hobby, but they've gone back to uni to study marine biology. Nice. That's really cool. Wow. Good. Good luck. Good job. That's great. Maybe they need to apply for an internship. Perhaps oh, at yeah. the Nautilus? Yeah, you can go to nautiluslive.org and go to... Oh, I should know this off the top of my head. There's a thing yeah, where you nobody. apply for internships. Yeah. Let's do one on this thing, you please. Go to. I'll tell you in a second, chat. Let me look Under it up. Under bamboozle. Before. Oop, bonk. What are you? Don't point at me. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, bamboo. All right, I'm gonna keep moving. So if if you go to nautiluslive.org and go to education, um, you could go to. You'll see the tab on the. Right, that says at sea programs, they have educators and students. Um, so there's the science communication fellowship, which is what I do, where our job is to basically facilitate conversation in these live streams as well as do outreach and create deliverables. Is this, um, Zoom in, please. Sponge. Yeah, we finally see the sponge again. Bonk. Oh. There's Terrible. also the ROV engineering Sorry. internship, uh, Sorry. which is what I'm doing. I think it's cool, and you should apply for it <laughs> if you we feel like have, doing it. Yeah, we also have science internships. We have a we have a video engineer internship as well, right, Dave? Yes, we do. Lots of ways to get involved. And I've heard other people say this before, but don't not apply because you think you won't make it or you're not qualified enough or whatever else. Let uh, let other people make that decision. Don't yeah. dismiss yourself because you think you're not good enough. I mean, me and Annabelle were talking, and we were both like, we don't know how we got here. <laughs> it's not about taking them. Like, the point of being a training vessel with internships is not about taking the most qualified person. This is a beautiful rock in coral. <laughs> uh. Interrupt myself. Let's zoom in, please. There's also a... That might be a shrimp swimming. There, there was. Yeah, That's a mechanic. cool rock flow and coral. Yeah, it's a collapsed rock. There's a yeah. lava tube underneath. You can actually Ooh. see it collapsed in on itself. And there's a sponge past it, too, in the cinema cam. If we come out a bit, Dave, I can probably get over Ooh, there. Oh, with a big crinoid on it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I get for interrupting myself. All right. Or is it a tunicate? I think it's a sponge. It is a sponge. sponge. 
sponge. Beautiful. It, it's funny how these local topographic highs just have so much more things on it. Yeah. Clip to Fora. All right, thank you. <coughs> oh, here's a cool chat member, Veronica. Uh, they're a labor and delivery nurse, or RN. Very cool. With wow. a great love for the ocean, and they take a lot of screenshots, um, and they teach some online elective classes for kids about deep sea creatures. Cool. And they're always researching and taking notes. So, like, we have, there's a term called citizen scientist, um, where, you know, citizens do science, and I think you fit that term very well, Veronica. Yeah, we bring people up for the internships programs that have come from all backgrounds, all different experience levels. So it's not about picking the most qualified. It's about picking someone that's passionate about this, uh, everything that we that is done out here, as well as someone that will not only someone that will themselves benefit from being out here. Not just about benefiting this organization, but about themselves benefiting from being out here. I think that's very important. Willing to learn, able to take some of that knowledge back and use it to advance their career and knowledge of the ocean or to distribute that knowledge to other people, whether that's students or groups or communities or whatever, all that stuff's very important. So don't not apply because you think you're not qualified. You you may just may well be. Beautifully said. Yeah, Everyone. that's a good one, Trevor. Also, if you didn't get the internship last year, don't be af afraid to apply again. I feel like is a decent thing because I've heard of people applying multiple times and then getting it on the second or third yeah, one. Or fourth yeah, try. I've heard yeah. that too. Along the same vein, don't not apply if you're not American, because I know somebody who didn't apply last year because she's Canadian. And then I told her I'm Canadian and I got it. So yeah, don't not apply. I think in the um, on that that uh, tab I told you to go like education and then how to get involved. It'll have like qual like what. Um, requirements you need, and I believe it's U.S. and Canada. Don't quote me. I can double check that right now. Um, obviously, you guys are from Canada, so <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. But I can double check since there's not much else we're seeing. Fish. Upper left. Fish. Let's uh, zoom on please. the fish, please. Not a little baby cuskiel. Looks like a little tadpole. Let's do same, same, same. Oh, darkness. Cute. Thanks. There's so many of the little baby cuskiels. That means that few of them make it. Oh. Few of them make it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you don't see many adults. You've seen like a small handful. Pig. Cucumber. Another pig. <laughs> or, or a cucumber. I think thing. A Wait, pig is a type of cucumber. Piggy, piggy. Okay, but it's still a, you know, it's a pig, like a square is a rectangle, a rectangle is a square, <laughs> Did you a say pig is a cucumber, uh, not all cucumbers are pig. Pig pile or pig pen? Oh, pig pen's also good, but a pile of them seems really cute. Yeah, that would be cute. <laughs> Will you say, Rob, this is like, um, shit flows? I don't know what, it looks like it's welded uh, talus material. Mostly. There are some sheets off to the side, but this looks like old talus has been welded together by the manganese crust. Some of these are chunks of uh, lava flow. Oh, I forgot we also have the seafloor mapping interns and the navigation internship. Yeah, it's that too. Oh. So five different types of internships. Yeah, and then the communication fellowship. And, and it's a pretty cross the board. There's undergraduates, there's teachers. Yeah. There's people who work for non-government organizations. Yeah. Graduate students. There's a, a wide variety of people on this ship. And now we're back in 
some sheet flows here. Students in between undergrad and grad school as well. Okay, so for the internships, it says only applicants who have unrestricted and independent authorization to work or participate in an internship and qualify as a U.S. person are eligible because that's federally funded. I didn't understand that. <laughs> Can yeah. you make that Trevor simple? Yes, Trevor simple. Oh. Um, uh, on U.S. funds internship, so U.S. citizens can apply. And how do Canadians get it? Because I got it in 2020. Were you, did you have a, like a work visa or something? Like, were I you think Canadians and Americans have an agreement where, because I had to sign a W-8 hmm. BEN, but it was because I was coming here for training, it was applicable. Okay, so maybe there's like workarounds. I wouldn't like um, say that as fact, but like you guys, if someone's in Canada and wants to apply, they can always like email. Um, the contact us thing and ask if, if they're eligible. Because it doesn't say U.S. citizens only, it says people that are authorized to work or participate in yes, internships I, in the U.S. I am living proof. <laughs> yeah, because for my, in my own case, you know, I'm a Nigerian, mm -hmm. but because I'm studying here, I have a um, student visa, and um, through yeah. that I can do an um, OPT, Mm -hmm. to, like that, um, no, CPT rather, curriculum practical training. So that's yeah. how I, I got here. So by daily, cool. like, you know, without that, like, I wouldn't have. So yeah, it's, so it's not a straightforward process, but it's it's doable even for international students. So can give we it have a try. Here, please? Yeah, always worth trying. You can put anything, you, or you can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this rock. Another two. No, there's a, a thing under the rock. Oh, there's a thing oh, under the rock. Another squishy. Another squishy. What? Another one. What is it? I don't know. Is it old hole fast? Maybe it's a old oh. uh, penuncle base of, any, of something, right? There's little tiny, like, ah. strands of stuff. All right, come on, please. And crusting Thank a you. sponge. Ah. Please say it. Oh, big old corals. Yeah, it's a nice coral there. Little tornado. Nice steep wall of pillow flows here. Lava shrimp flows. and a nice shrimp. Bridge, Nav. Let's do same, same, same. Thank you. And we're about 300 meters from waypoint four. All right, we will not quite make it. Yeah, then. I won't, yeah. Another bamboo on the left. Oh, yes, good catch. Another big white one nice coming up one, here. Yeah. Another big one. Those white corals look so delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another chat background, they have a degree in environmental science, but they found these dives over the pandemic and it's some of the coolest things they've ever seen. Um, they've gotten really good at IDing animals and rock types from listening to all the amazing scientists aboard talk about what they're passionate about. It is fascinating to have the chance to see all these creatures and... Um, Is that like slime on the other side of that rock? I missed it. Yeah, it was a cinema cam shot. Ah, uh, yes. The old cinema cam, eh? It's making, it, it's making your life a little harder. <laughs> no, it's great. I, I love it. Even though I'm not I always looking at it. I love it. I think it's great. It's great. 
you can see so much detail. Now if we could combine that quality and position with Zeus's zoom, then we'd be laughing. He'd be laughing. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you maniacal laughing. <laughs> laughing. Well, DPSL is uh, DP, D deep sea power light DSPL is uh, working on that uh, three chip 4K camera mm -hmm. with a broadcast lens and real controller. And Did I hear that they're two thirds chips, not full chips? Um, is, that, is that true? I'm not sure. Yeah. So two thirds inch imagers are very common in okay. broadcast cameras. And Zeus is one inch? Uh, no, it's two thirds. It's two thirds as well? Yep. But it's not the size of the chip, it's the resolution and the fact that there are three chips, one for each channel, red, green, and blue. Right. As opposed to synthesizing three channels out of one chip, which is what we've got with the mini Zeus. What's the cinema cam got? I do not know. It's an oversized chip, uh, um, and I can't remember the, the uh, designation on that. I read through the specs real briefly on it uh, a while back. Uh, it's 6K resolution, uh, and then it's uh, uh, being down res to more or less 4K H UHD resolution for what we see, mm -hmm. which is then compressed and streamed. <laughs> Course, from yeah. the camera to uh, to here over the network and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I guess 6K allows you to do image stabilization and zoom while still being lossless, right? Well, Digital it's, zoom. it's oversampling, right? And in, in that you've got uh, 6K worth of, of pixels oh, and you're, you're oversampling to down res those down to 4K. Oh, look at that. Can we zoom in on this massive shrimp, please? Oh my God. Stand up. Is that, am I seeing that right? Look at yeah. that power pose. Long line. Wow. Oh wow. Giant feelies. Wow. That's it's amazing. also like doing that right in front of a cucumber. <laughs> oh. Majestic. Oh. Ready to pounce. Hunker down. No. Nemato Kersinidae. All right. I can't stay still there. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for that zoom. Macy. Um, Dave, does the cinema cam send feed out to the world in 6K or? No. No, okay. No. Um, Are we seeing it in 6K here? Uh, no. It's, okay. It starts out, it starts out with that uh, internally in the camera. Then it's down res to UHD, which is 4K, more okay. of us. Um, 3840 by 20. So don't worry, chat, you're not missing much. 60, something like that. Anyway. Um, it's too late at night for me to put <laughs> the numbers in my head. Yeah, but, 38, uh, 40, 21, 60, that's right. Yeah. And uh, and then that's compressed and streamed uh, over the network back up to a PC uh, here on the ship and then uh, displayed in a player. And then we're converting that to HD video, 1920 no. by 1080, and showing it. Uh, what you see on SAT3. Where it is then compressed some more. <laughs> <laughs> Sent over the satellite. Let's do same, same, same. Thanks. And you see it in a player on shore, either on the web page or on YouTube. Move. Yeah, I think so. Yep. Markedly more sediment on this slope. What are we at? 25, 90s? Let's do the old. Is that a, a coral? I don't know, is that a coral right there, or is that an old sp sponge stock? Let's find out. Let's play the coral or spongy debris game. Yeah, there's this coral to the left, too. Yeah, that's a, just a sponge. I do. There's a lot no, of photos coral. of them. Ooh. And a highlight. One sec. Go ahead and zoom, please. Oh, interesting. 
What's on it? Oh. A little barnacle? Zebra heteropathies Americana. Oh. oh, it's coming to face us. Yeah. That's great because we can we want to see what is in there. Wow. That's a beautiful shot. That is just yeah. emotional. It's so it. pretty. Is this a coral? Yep. All right, I should I guess by move. having pathies in its Thanks. name, it's a black coral. Steve said heteropathy is CF Americana. It's lush. It's got a lot of flesh on it compared to some of the other black corals we've seen. Mm -hmm. All right, we're in our last m ship move of the night. We got about five more minutes on the bottom. Ten oh more minutes no. before we're totally off. Bottom. Five more minutes of looking around, sciencing, and then ten minutes till we're off. After this move, should I get settled back into position? Uh, what do you mean by that? In the tail-to-tail -tail uh, position. You're gonna be there. That's gonna be up to me. Oh, okay. Roger. Yeah, you you can't really do that. Oh. Oh, no, I really can't. Sounds good. Sleep well, bud. Bud, what? Definitely. Yep. Rob is talking to himself. Good. <laughs> Are you talking about the rocks, Rob? No. Oh. There was whispers in his ear. <laughs> Chat wants to know if we've seen anything cool in blue water. Um, I, I know like the last recovery saw some squid that like inked or, or something. This morning we saw what we thought was tuna. Remember yeah. when we first, that was pretty cool. Um, but no oceanic white tips. Off the, the side of the ship when we were already at bottom, uh, yesterday dive, uh, one of the science yes. interns or a uh, science uh, members saw a shark off the, the boat, but we couldn't tell what it was. Hello, Cinema Cam Mouser. Goodbye, Cinema Cam Mouser. <laughs> it's still there. Oh, oh. oh it's back again. Away. We scared it. I'm trying to chase it with a vehicle. <laughs> Shrimp, you started nowhere. bio box cam. Shrimp? Yeah, I started bio box. It's gone now. Okay, counts. Rob keeps hyping up the shrimp in blue water. I or not the shrimp, um, the squid in blue water. I really want to see yeah. see them. Sperm whale. You want to see a sperm whale? Do this, are the sperm whales out in the Pacific? Yeah. That would be so cool. Yeah. And a sperm whale and a squid. And a squid. What about a sperm whale eating a squid? Yeah. Yeah. What about a squid eating a sperm whale? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> 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 
I'd leave. That'd be a big squid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if I left, I'd be in the water with the squid eating the sperm whale, so maybe I wouldn't want to leave. Where yeah. would you leave? I'd leave. Don't okay. worry about that. <laughs> she <laughs> has her ways. <laughs> I'll call my mom to pick me up. <laughs> Chartered helicopter. Yep, yeah, it's a coral. It's one of those Remula Gorgia. Remula Gorgia militaris. Mm -hmm. right? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. It looks like the firework coral, the Iridogorgia, but branched instead of spiraling. And the branches only come out the one side of the main branch, right? Standing in line like military at attention? Yep. Like a candle. I want to think candelabra. Primnoid. What's that? Remo Ooh, what is this? It's Calyptophora. Let's check it out. Go ahead and zoom, please. Black coral, maybe? Black coral. Ah, terrible job. Not even close to looking at it. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm not sure. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. All right, cool. Oh. Thanks. I think we'll end it there. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The Vesulis are stop now. Great. All right, we can hold there. I'll get set up for recovery. Oh, Gorgia, let's, let's look at this. Cold like that because when oh, there's, there's some guests on this sponge. Oh, really? Mm. It looks like bar bar barnacle. Snap zoom, Dave. Whoa. Oh. Is this Arm a parade? All right, and then there's another cool thing over here, which we're not going to stop for, but there's a big, big old bamboo. Neat. So, uh, the um, Ramilo Gorgia Militaris was named like that because when dry, according to the person who described the species, the, um, the, the standard eggs in rows like soldiers lining up polyps. All right, you can come up on Delta, please. Awesome. Do you need me to match my heading to anything? Ah, uh, your heading is good. Roger. Goodbye, floor. I see come up on Delta. That was the Bye wrong floor. word. You can just come up on winch. It's the better word, because I'm going to start coming up and ruin the Delta number. But you can come up at 15 for now. OK, is it stick time? Uh, soft stick. Oh, okay. As in, <laughs> what does that mean, Trevor? <laughs> As in, like, yeah, but you're going to need to change it a lot. Okay. So it's up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll stick it. Why stick not? Stick it. After all, why shouldn't I stick it? Uh. Okay, we're okay. doing... That's us off bottom. They're off bottom. Uh. Oh. <laughs> A wee baby. All right, we got an ascent around 15. Roger that. Turning all my lights on. Cool. Blue water time. I'm gonna look down. 
Look at that. Um, and does anyone remember what depth we ended this dive at? Ah, yeah, it was about um, two twenty six hundred thereabout. I think twenty five fifty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Twenty five fifty. Thank you. Yeah. I okay, we can speed up on winch, please. Roger. We can make uh, twenty six. So is there any chance we're gonna get the word of the day, word of the watch now, or is that hopeless? <laughs> no chance at all. <laughs> hmm. uh, that was I an could evil laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> I could just tell you it. It wasn't the, the, the funnest word. Wait, more hints first. Okay, um, it has to do with sediment. It's Remember, it's a single word describing the look of something when it happens, and it has to do with sediment. Soft. Nope. Friable. Nope. Nasty. Nope. We've said it before. I don't think we've said nasty before to sell it. <laughs> Did we here. say it when we were doing push course? Um, maybe, but like, not that it has to do we with the We can come up at 28, I think, actually. Roger. Sediment. Silty? Thin. Nope. Palette? Nope. Go back. Pedum cool. Nope. It's, I guess, it's not an adjective. I think. I think it would be a noun. Booze? No. Lumps. Rock. No. <laughs> Yeah, we've said rock so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. For yeah. nephrima, for nephrima. <laughs> oh my goodness, the phytoplankton that the sand is made out of. No. For aminifera. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> no one's currently getting the word. Detritus? You have to say no. It has say to do with we sediment. Are close or sediment, not? and no one's currently getting the word. Ripple. 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 Oh. Ripples was the word two. for ripple. Oh, ripple. Two for you two, got Rob. Everything. No, I, didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> Rob did get it. <laughs> no, I mean, the thing is, who is probably talking the most, so it's just besides Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> so just the percentages are. <laughs> well, Rob, if you want to pick two stickers, you can, I guess. Well, I, would, I would like to donate them. Both stickers? Yeah. You don't want one single sticker? Well, I don't have a sippy cup to put anything on. Sippy There's cup. also prints. Or you could put it on your laptop. Maronke chose a no. print of a cicada. No tattoos, no jewelry, <laughs> no ornamentation. <laughs> yeah, it was ripples, because I was thinking we'd see ripples. In no the... ornamentation. I'm picturing your Christmas tree is just a <laughs> bare stick. <laughs> His Christmas tree's a rock. I don't, like, <laughs> I don't put them up anymore. Why? Really? I don't want It's just a pain. Christmas spirit. Is but there it, anything that you like to do for Christmas? Or any other holiday around that time of year? I make uh, kielbasa and pierogies. Mm. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. You make the I'm pierogies? coming over. When, when do we start? <laughs> I'll bring the beer. That sounds <laughs> lovely. And I'll bring the Christmas tree. <laughs> And the ornaments will be rocks. <laughs> Rock Christmas tree. You could have a sea star at the very top. <laughs> a big crinoid. <laughs> a big crinoid, yeah. I mean, a number of the ornaments are old sea urchin shells. Are they? Yeah. That's cool. And some acorn worms. Nav, how far are we away from waypoint four Ew. horizontally, would you say? We are about one nine zero meters. Thank you. You're welcome.
Deputy is going to swap out for a bit. Panos is going to sit in. Roger. Trevor, is now a good time for me to... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can ooh any time. Oh, is now a good time for me to practice craft again? If video is okay with that? Okay. Maybe we'll see the bloop fish on the way up. The bloop? Hello. What did we use? Was it a bloop? It was the bloop whale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, because the bloop whale fish thing lives in the Marianas Trench. Uh, can you do a gauge check first, please? Roger. Gauge check. Wasn't the bloop like an earthquake or something? Yeah, but some little kid, some precious little kid at an interaction asked us if we have ever seen the bloop. And then we were like, well, what is that? And they were like, well, it's uh, it's this big, um, uh, this Aww. big, like, big mouth with, it's like a whale with a big mouth that, that lives in the Marianas Trench. Oh. <laughs> the so, bloop. The so bloop. Like it's just a really big sea pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we, like, later looked it up, and it was, like, a term... Um, from this sound that came in like the 90s or something from the Marianas Trench that uh, could have been an earthquake, could have been some sort of like glacier ice thing. Um, but then, you know, rumors online say it could be like a creature. Great reading on the craft comp here. Beautiful. Clear. Clear as mud. I'm not talking because I'm typing an update, just to let everybody know. Can't type and talk at the same time. Can you type and listen? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Hopefully someone says something. <laughs> yeah, somebody, somebody <laughs> talk. Somebody say something. There's so much pressure. <laughs> no, I'm just wondering about other people's holiday. What they oh. do for the holidays. The holidays? Well, for, you know, the the December holidays. Like my birthday? <laughs> oh. Is it a holiday? It is. It is now. Mm-hmm. Near the holiday. I always get a tree every year. Go to the forest, cut one down, bring it in the house. I think I've had to count on one hand the number of years I have not had a tree. <laughs> I feel like as I've been getting older, um, like holidays have kind of just been dropping off the calendar. Like, um, like I don't really celebrate like Easter anymore. Like I used with my family. My family, we used to do like St. Patrick's Day dinner and all that stuff, but not anymore. St. Patrick's any, Day dinner, interesting. Are there any holidays that happen to be during our cruise? Like, I know August isn't, like, a big holiday time. August is a huge holiday yeah. time. Yeah. It's the August long weekend. Yeah. BC Day. Oh. Yeah. Canadian holidays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> the accent really jumped out there, Trevor. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Gauge check finished. All right. Canada has a holiday in every, no, do we have one every month? Not necessarily, but we have Almost 13, I think, 13 holidays. 
13 or 14? There, you can kill your auto heading now. in February. That's a Family ratchet? day. Oh, yeah. Kill never mind. My auto heading. There we go. What day is that? Family day, February family day. 18th, I want to say. What's it called? Family day. Oh. Spend time with your family. <laughs> Rest your security. Do we need a day for that? Okay, go for a it. Well, day. everybody gets it off. Might want to get that now, on craft. Which is cool. Or gauges, either one. Canada. Oh, what do you feel like? What do you feel like? Oh, okay. February 19th next year. I'll put it here. I think it changes every year. Yeah, it's the first or like the second, I don't know, something about the Monday. Third Monday of February. There you go. The sixth Monday of September. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what month do we not have a holiday over here? January. June, June of a holiday? January's got New Year's Day. That barely counts. Oh, that's a stat. <laughs> if it happens on a Sunday, you still get the Monday off. That's true, that's true. Does June have a holiday? I don't think so. Not Canada-wide, but it is National Indigenous Peoples Day on the 21st. Uh. That's a holiday. Yeah, it is a holiday. It's just not a statutory one. There's also Quebec Day like? on the 24th. Oh, thank you. Christmas, my family makes garlic pork and pepper pot because my dad's Guyanese, so those are two very traditional foods around Christmas time. What was the one? Pepper, pepper, pepper pot. Pepper it's pot, a meat that? based dish that has to cure um, for about a week. <laughs> so you prepare it a week in advance before eating it. Whoa. What's the, it's a beet based dish, you yeah, say? Yeah, it's beef. Okay, that sounds tasty. I'm a, I'm a big beet fan. Pepper pot, I'll have to look that up. Dave's back in video. Hey, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hello, all. Oh, Friday is Hawaiian state holiday, statehood day. Nice. Apparently. Doesn't your state do that? What state? Any state. I don't Confusion. think Pennsylvania does that. What is Pennsylvania known for? I don't hear much about... What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hear much about Pennsylvania. It's known, like, the Pocono Mountains is, like, a very um, popular, like, skiing mountain vacation place. Um, we also got Pittsburgh, and we got Philadelphia. Um, Gritty. Gritty, yes. Oh, uh, you know, Amish well, I know farms. The, the cities, but it's like Texas is known for, you know, Texas. Big. <laughs> yeah, everything's bigger in Texas. What a burger. I mean, Pennsylvania has like a lot of history when it comes to like the formation of the United States, like okay. the revolution. It, Philadelphia was the capital of the United States for a little bit. Wow. Was it really? I think so. Oh my God, I might be wrong. Effect. Originally, it was. Yeah. 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 Yes, okay. it was. I worked Cot at the Museum of the American Revolution for some time, but did I learn much? No. <laughs> um. Continental Congress, uh, yeah. Declaration of Independence, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Constitution. A lot of uh, some battles happened there. So it's like our Prince Edward Island. Mm. <laughs> Silence. Silence, because nobody understands Canadian history. Yeah. You should. What is it? The War of eighteen twelve. Yep. You know, Nobody fun likes fact to about talk about the War of 1812. The fun fact about that is both Canada and the U.S. teach, when they teach that part of history, they just talked about how they won the war. But the U.S. <laughs> didn't win. Sorry? I heard that the U.S. didn't win. I'm not according to what I was taught. 
that Canada burnt the White House down. That's what I heard. Sure did. It did. Technically, we weren't Canada yet, but... Uh, yeah. Technically, the British burnt the White House down. And I learned about the War of 1812 in... Uh, my history class in middle school, they played a Canadian video on it for us that was like <laughs> a weird patriotic song about it, that they're like, we're so happy that we defeated the Americans, <laughs> like, go Canada. <laughs> <laughs> go Canada. Stick it to them. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, Billy Joel sings about Pennsylvania sometimes. Really? Hmm. I have a lot to learn about Pennsylvania. It's just not a state that I've really thought a lot about. You know what state I don't think about? Delaware. No, because I used to work in Delaware. Idaho? Uh, Nebraska. Like, I forget Nebraska is a state all the time. Sorry for anybody in Nebraska. Omaha. What about Omaha? Omaha. Omaha. Kansas? Omaha is not a state. It's no, in Nebraska. It? It's in Nebraska. Oh. Yeah, I don't think about Omaha either. Oh. What 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 is Omaha known for? Cheap housing. Mm. That's pretty sweet. Steaks, beef. Beef is good. I could Great. go for some beef. Great university. Mm. Basketball. Mm. Well, Pennsylvania also has hoagies and cheesesteak sandwiches. Yeah, we got those yeah, Johns. The cheesesteak sandwich I know about. That is okay. Yeah, but don't be fooled. There's plenty of like tourist cheesesteak places that don't have the best cheesesteaks. Everybody I've ever talked to from Philly ha knows the best place. Mm -hmm. And every one of them tells me a different place. <laughs> and forget about forget about Pat's and Mike's. Uh, Pat's and uh, whatever it is. What what's the other? Geno's. Yeah. Geno's. That's it. Well, yep. uh, oh gosh, Those I forget the, the name of it. Ones. The one that begins with a D is like pretty commonly um, known as like the best cheesesteak place, and it's good. But I feel like they've gone downhill recently. Let me look up what it's called. What is a cheesesteak? It's uh like I'm a hot I'm, dog I'm shocked bun? that you asked that question, but West Coast, I guess. It's, it's not a big thing. It's a hoagie roll, which is like a sub or a hero roll um, with like chopped steak in it with cheese melted in and you should get it with uh, ketchup, mayo, uh, and uh, onions and mushrooms. So it's a hoagie with cheese and steak bits? Yes. That sounds pretty good. And it provolone, sharp provolone is the best cheese to get it with. I actually used to fly through Philly on purpose and have an extra long layover so I could have a cheesesteak and drink Yingling beer. <laughs> At the airport? Yep. I like to lay over in Chicago so that I can uh, have a uh, Chicago dog and old style. Exactly. I, I, I've done that too. Yep. <laughs> um, Delisandro's steaks is like the renowned, like the best touristy cheesesteaks in Philly. Yeah, um, and then right, right across from it's Chubby's, which is good. Is that one of the ones you've heard before, Dave? No. I don't know. You have to ask Ed. Right. And, uh, and, and uh, another guy that I worked with at the University of Washington. Uh, and, and they both would argue about cheesesteaks. And it's none, you know, it's some little hole in the wall place that's absolutely the best in Philly. Right. And, uh, that's, yeah. You never heard him, you never hear him on the oh. food. On the you Food Network or anything. You know my favorite cheesesteak place in Philly? It's the one in the Home Depot. Mm. There's a cheesesteak place che in well, the Home it's Depot? It's not in, but it's, like, attached to it. It used to be this, like, little rinky-dink shack, but I guess they got some money, they got popular, and now they, like, actually made a more, like, stable building. But it's still attached stable. to the Home Depot. <laughs> They um, used parts from the Home Depot to I make was it more stable. Say, there, there were some building supplies nearby, so. You know. <laughs> and, like, only, like, two workers can fit in there, right? And then it's just, like, a small little space that maybe, like, five patrons can stand in only. Oh, and it's so good. Greasy, wow. great. They also have, like, sausages that are really good. Nice. And it comes with a soda and a little bag of chips. Cool. Can I give you another puzzle? Sure. 
I'll show you. And you do it. Do you want me to put it back? Uh, sure, that's a good good practice. Put it back. So what's your favorite cheese plate? Cheese steak plate, Stephanie? So the Home Depot one is my favorite, and then my boyfriend has this one called, and he's asleep, so he won't care if I say the secret cheese steak place in the whole world. Oh, it's it's called trail. <laughs> Mama's. Secret cheese steak. Wow. It's called Mama. Mama's. That's that's good. Well, I've never been to Philadelphia. If you come, let but me know, and I could take so you to the places that have the good go food. Tap. Let's yeah, see, can I, I actually ever reach in the area. down there? I'm not sure. <laughs> We what actually have it? really good restaurants. We're like pretty known for our food in general. Oh yeah, grab that thing down there. <laughs> what I'm saying, uh, just give me a minute. <laughs> you tap this part of the wrist into that corner and then over into this corner. The one you can't see. The one you can't see. And then over here. And then you do the same with the jaws in reverse. Boop. 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 Okay, so wrist, 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 jaw, jaw, jaw. Yeah, in the three, three spot, two corners and somewhere in the middle. Okay. But this part, the reason I'm doing that is you gotta use a lot more joints to get at it instead of straight armed. Roger that. I love it. Yeah. I Fun didn't sew puzzles it. <laughs> for blue water. Thank you for fun puzzles, Trevor. <laughs> to puzzles Always in comes the water back puzzles to puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles yeah. in the water. water Arm puzzles. puzzles. Craft puzzles. Does anyone else live in cities that's known for a food item in particular? I have lived in a lot of cities, so mm. lots of lots of food, different places. Seattle. What? Seattle's known for coffee. Coffee. Yeah, I miss that part. I'm blind in that eye. I, yeah, <laughs> not I really a coffee person myself yeah, either. I don't drink coffee, so. Is it known for coffee because of Starbucks, though? Yeah. Yeah. Except that people that are super duper coffee aficionados that I know don't drink Starbucks. Ooh. It's over roasted and burnt and that kind of stuff, and they drink Ooh. other stuff. I don't know. I, uh, it's like trying to describe color to a blind man. I, I just really don't get coffee. Ooh. New Haven, Connecticut has some uh, pizza that's really, really good. Are you sure? No, it's really good. <laughs> wow. That's surprising. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Only because, you know, New York pizza is the best pizza. Well, they, they do a, uh, a a white clam pizza Ooh. Oh. at one place. It's really good. Oh, oh white that clam. sounds good. All right. Yeah. Every, everybody says the same about New York pizza. New York pizza, yeah, because it's the best. They get the ratio down right. I prefer it to Chicago deep dish oh, by yeah. a mile. Chicago I like deep dish is like... Pizzas. Well, that's not yeah. really a pizza. Yeah, it's not it's like, like that's more of like a yeah casserole, bready casserole. Canada does the weird thing of inventing food and then naming it after somewhere completely different, like the California roll or Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. <laughs> those are what, what about poutine? Were those invented in Canada? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Poutine. I love poutine. Oh yeah. Poutine, yeah, poutine yeah. is good. That's what good. about ketchup what chips? That? That's true. Poutine? Fries with cheese curds and gravy at its base level, but you can really up it to some fancy things. There's pulled pork poutine, there's shrimp poutine, there's... Smoked sausage. Mm -hmm. In Victoria, there's this place called Redfish Bluefish, and they have a jerk cod poutine. So it's oh. cod with jerk seasoning. It's really good. Oh, that sounds wonderful. The hard I've part about living out west, though, is you can't get the fresh curds. Yeah. Like you can in Quebec. Yeah. Uh, fresh curds or something else. When you like bite them, they squeak. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you know. Yeah. They're yep. supposed to squeak. That's how you know they're good. That's how you know they're fresh. Yeah, you can't have like, it's like that day. Yep. So in Tillamook, Oregon, at the Tillamook Cheese Factory, you can go and you can buy fresh curds 
right there. Oh, made that oh yeah, nice. Yep. Now I want some poutine. Yeah, in the town next to me, they had uh, a cheese factory. And anytime I go home, I buy a bunch of cheese curds and bring them back, and I, I eat half of them on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> cheese curds are just like chunks of cheese, right? It, it's yeah. like whatever's no. left over in the process. Yeah. Yeah. What What yeah. is a cheese curd? So in the, in the cheese making process, the curds and whey are separated and the curds are uh, seasoned usually with just salt uh, and then pressed to press more of the whey out uh, and then you kind of have this crumbly uh, squeaky uh, texture uh, cheese and then that's put into forms and pressed and uh, turned into that would be the, the cheddaring process after that to make cheddar cheese so it's uh, it's fresh cheese nice but not like cottage cheese they're dry and they like like Trevor says, they're squeaky. When you when you bite into them, they squeak on your on your teeth. I like the the characteristic of squeaky. Yeah, <laughs> squeaky cheese. And I'm from Oregon, so I'm biased as to Tillamook cheese. Yeah, I really want to go to the Tillamook cheesery. Cheese factory. Um, but we didn't get a chance last time we were out there. Uh, cool. What about Beecher's? Uh, Beecher's is pretty good. What's Beecher's? Is that a cheese? Yeah, that's uh, a, a Seattle area place. Cheese factory. There's like a little cheese terrarium where you can watch them make the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, terrarium. Is that a good way to describe do, it? To do you watch them cut Beecher's? the cheese? <laughs> they have like the big vats and they like stir it around. Yep. In Tillamook, you can uh, you can stand on the second floor observatory area and look down into the cheese factory floor. <laughs> Observatory is probably a better word than terrarium. Yeah. Yep. It's like, <laughs> like a little that. cheese terrarium. But you really don't want to be there when they cut the cheese. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Rob's going to keep pressing that joke forward. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Somebody <laughs> is going to laugh. Has he said it multiple times? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Why don't you take back. the slurp hose out? <gasps> oh. oh. Everybody the hardest part is on. putting it back away. <laughs> aye, <laughs> aye, aye. It's going to be a puppy ride. It's going to be a slurpy ride. <laughs> I need a student driver sticker. OK. No, you have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dave, you should get that camera on them. Hold no. it. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm there. Uh, let's see. That's going to be bad. Okay. Trevor, do we have a spare? <laughs> spare sticker? No, spare a hose. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Hold that up there, Trevor. It, I don't see it on the satellite. No, on the satellite feed. It's no. on, almost there. It's almost there. Hold okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please be patient, student driver. Channel 3, Annabelle, student driver. Also doing great. Doing a great job. Thank you. I guess this is what, your third time kind of maneuvering? I think yeah. sec second time. Well, well second dive. She did blue water and then she did the rock and now she's doing this. Oh, that's right. You're right. There, yeah. Okay. Trying the third one. You got this, Annabelle. Go. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. We are sharing you on. Mm. So the hardest part about this is as you spin the shoulder to pull it out, you're gonna have to rotate the jaw. Oh. Multi-dimensional. And then it comes out free. Yeah. Doing all those functions oh, wow. all at once. Nice work. Well, I figured out the setting where you just rotate it with the wrist like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's very helpful. That works for, me. for you. Yeah. Perfect. I love that everyone uses it slightly differently. That's kind of a cool feature of it. it gives you some flexibility. Okay, now go back, please. <coughs> Collecting a spa lobster soon. <laughs> <laughs> Paula was talking with me in the lounge. She was like, "So, are you going to get many lobsters?" <laughs> <laughs> Paula's like, "More lobster, more lobsters." <laughs> More people to get lobsters. Nice. Put it back. Perfect. Whoop. Nice work.
All right, can I show you one more here? Yeah, sure. Do you want me to put it back? Uh, you can just hold it there. Okay. So it's pretty much the same as what you just did, but there's one specific skill that you can practice, which is slurpee? hovering. Make sure everything's good here still. Yeah. So you can. Uh, wait, I can't do that way. I don't like that way at all. You don't like it? <laughs> no. So. You know how you were going here and you're like... Too I don't many buttons and not enough fingers. I don't quite like this jaw, so then you let it go and you're like, okay, I can try over here. And you're like, oh, you mm -hmm. know, this isn't quite right. No, okay, try over here. What I recommend is you try, you get it close, and you're like, that's not quite right. You let it out just a little bit. You hold it there, you got to balance it, and then you can slide it in. You, you kind of work your way in. You can use your shadows, and then you can grab it all in one go. So you kind of, as you get closer, you close the jaws, and then you kind of fine tune it as you get there. So where this really matters is for coral cutting. You're trying to weave the jaws, you know, out there and snip between. If you okay. go full, full open to full close, you're going to kill the whole coral. So you got to just kind of weave the tip of the jaw in, and then close. So you can practice on this slur pose and get that skill kind of figured out. After that. <coughs> Trevor, could you grab that the little light that's sticking up there and just tilt it down? There we go. Thanks. Right in the middle of my shot. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, what is this? <laughs> I set it back the, to the road I like. Turn on the twisty. Yeah, there you go. What's going on here? There's a cheese factory in Bandon. As in well. Abandoned cheese factory? No, in Bandon, in Oregon. Ban oh. The abandoned cheese factory. No, no, no. It's just the name of the town is Bandon. <laughs> <laughs> Bandon, ben Oregon. Ben <laughs> abandoned. Ba if it was abandoned. abandoned. It's on the South Oregon coast, and they have a cheese factory. Mm. There. Do you think if there was an abandoned cheese factory, it's because someone cut the cheese and they all oh. had to leave? Oh. Oh. All right. There was the, uh, there was the joke. <laughs> Coming back around. Rob, I'm blaming you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> I should not be pulling this much on the suck, should I? I approve. Just this keep message. the black line on this side <laughs> of the of the pipe, and you should be okay. Yes, but you did not improve this message, so. <laughs> uh, one thing that Canada has that my sister-in-law, who's Canadian, showed me um, was the beaver tails. Oh, in, uh, yummy. Yeah. We were in Ottawa, um, and they were good. There's there's a, sh a shop in, or a, like a stand in New York City in Bryant Park called Waffles and Dings that's like the same type of thing, except this is like waffles with all the goodies on it. So it's not the same. Well, I mean, same concept, right? We also have those lots of good waffle spots in Victoria. Um, I say we, I don't live there, but... <laughs> uh, lots of good waffle spots, savory waffles and sweet, mm -hmm. waffles, fancy sweet waffles, tasty stuff. Victoria is full of brunch places. Oh, brunch yeah. is the best. We do brunch. We do fancy brunch. I think brunch like two is hour my favorite. Lineups almost everywhere. Yeah, on that's Sundays. the beaver tails. Beaver tails, uh, for everybody listening, is like a pastry, um, not like a tail of a beaver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a pastry you can get in Ottawa while skating down the Rideau Canal. Yeah. Oh, cool. I, mean, I do like a Tim Dor Tim Hortons uh, sour cream glazed donut, though. Uh, Tim Hortons? Tim's. Yeah. Tim's has gone downhill. Yeah, Tim's is a controversial topic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is Tim's like the Starbucks of your... <laughs> used to be. It used to be more more than that, and now it's less I than feel that. like it's similar to a Dunkin' now. I unsquished it. Unsquished? Oh, there we go. It's squishing again. I don't um. know what that means. I, the West Coast, specific, uh, specifically Oregon, has the Dutch Bros coffee drive up thing. Dutch, yep. Um, and boy, do I miss them when I'm not out there. They're good. In. 
drive by one all the time. Yeah, you don't go though, because you don't like coffee. Don't ever go there. They serve all sorts of stuff at Dutch, though. I don't. They don't serve food, though, right? No, they just do drinks, but they do like lots of them. Like they do like iced tea and stuff too. Yeah, we go because like we're always road tripping and we go out there, so it's really easy to just like oh, drive up. It's good road trip stuff. Yeah, and the, they had like this campfire flavor ones. So Dutch good. Dutch can be dangerous, man. There's a lot of caffeine in those. Yeah, but we need them when you're driving like eight hours a day and That's been so hiking true. for six hours. So, Annabelle, you ever play a game Operation? Uh, no, game? actually, I never have. Do you know what it's about, know the concept? It's like you're trying to pick the little thing without and triggering a wire. Yeah, they're touching either side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, anyway, whatever. For this, see if you can get the jaws almost like halfway closed and go over the hole from the, from the uh, pipe all the way up to the end, the nozzle, without touching anything. But see how closed you can get it and still do that. Okay. You can start easy with them wide open and just kind of floss over it and then try make it harder and harder by having the jaws tighter and tighter. Dave, chat says Bandon is better known for its wild game farm. Huh. I haven't been to that one. I could go for some wild game right Free now. Free range monopoly. Venison. <laughs> is that the, oh, is that the, the wild animal park that's mm. outside of Bandon? Let me look up. Wait, is that Bandon? I'm trying to think. There's a and wild animal park. There's a wild animal park that you go and you drive through, uh, and they have uh, uh, they have uh, elephants and giraffes and. Uh, In Oregon. Yeah. West Coast Game oh. Park Safari. Yes, that's oh, the place. Very that cool. Thing. Yes. Are they AZA approved? Yes. Okay, good. They raise cheetahs. Their specialty is raising cheetahs, and they're very successful yes. cheetah breeding. Uh, is that the park. place that there's like a bazillion signs all over? Like five. Yeah, but it, uh, it, and so I had always thought it was kind of a, a tourist trap thing, but uh, my granddaughter was down to visit from Alaska, and my wife took her there. I was out here on a ship, but uh, uh, and they loved it. I uh, love animals, so should I add it to my list? I think you should. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's a drive-through thing, mm -hmm. uh, and you can you can drive around and, and you can stop and look and, and that kind of stuff. They have little pullouts. And I gotta to look see. into it. I'm always hesitant oh, to try. And the cool thing is, is that you can drive around the whole loop and, mm -hmm. and see whatever you see, come back in, uh, go in and have a coffee, I guess, or lunch or something like coffee. that. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you can go back in and drive around again. Uh, you can drive around as many times as you want to in the, in the day. Uh, and so Did if I you go... Did I bump my elbow there? You say again? Did I bump my elbow there? No. The light bar is above the elbow. You can go in elbow. the morning and then go in the okay. afternoon and see different you animals. They have like, there's pictures, and I don't know how old they are, of people petting lions and tigers. I'm always hesitant no. of places that do lion and tiger petting. No, I haven't seen that. What? Seems like a bad time. What, petting lions and tigers? <coughs> They're cubs, but. Yeah. yeah I, haven't, I haven't seen that. But their the, specialty. The pictures look a little older. Yeah, their specialty is uh, raising cheetahs. Wild. Wild, literally. Huh. Uh -huh. Cool. I feel like I'm just passing over it. <laughs> you got it at the start, and then as you go, you swing the arm up. So you got to try to find a way to like, get it down lower as you go. These are like these are advanced compound movements. Like you're to you're getting you're gonna run out of materials pretty quick here. <laughs> okay. Roger. Back to brunch. Anybody Aww. else like brunch? I love brunch. I love brunch. We love passion. brunch. Brunch can get kind of competitive in Philadelphia though. Competitive, competitive brunch. brunch. Competitive <laughs> brunch. You like throw, throwing elbows? And, and yeah, it's stuff. really hard to get a spot somewhere, especially like if there's like three or four of you. Is it about those cheesesteaks? Gotta show up early. No. Cheesesteak brunch? Ew. No cheesesteak brunch. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> it's just, we have a lot of nice little brunch spots and people really like their brunch, so you have to like make a reservation, hmm. you know, ahead of time or get the bad seats outside, or they just turn you away. <laughs> <laughs> the 
At least that blue loop's gone now because the drop weight's gone. I know. <laughs> it's hanging down there. Yeah. Is that the one that was washered on? Yes. So there's washers on each side, so in theory it can't escape. In theory. In theory. RV versus Data Lab. Oh, wow. When I did get a chance, Lab. could Stop you. Stop swallowing your mic, holy. Oh, Everyone is now deaf permanently. <laughs> <laughs> I forget the gate on this one's absolutely ridiculous. No problem. Like, I'm a foot away from it now. Anyways, That's um, perfect. when I get a chance, could you secure power to the cinema camera? Sure, securing power to the cinema camera. Many thanks. Is that going to be permanent for this dive? Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, okay. I like to keep it off when we're up near the surface because it gets uncomfortably hot. Roger that. We're right. currently at a depth of 1,670 meters with uh, 70 minutes to service estimated. Yeah, that's not true. I'm speeding up and slowing down as we <laughs> as I match the witch. Okay. It's going to be we're going to be at the uh, handover point at 11:50, so it's about 90 minutes from now. The one time I try. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a risky thing. <laughs> if you watch in just a second here, we're going to have uh, time to service going really, really high. Oh my god, it's only getting bigger. <laughs> oh no, please. 181 minutes to service. We're going to be down here forever, I want to go to bed. Soon enough, it'll switch to time to bottom. No. <laughs> Ooh, very clumsy. I also don't know if this is a realistic task. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> just thought you want to try it? And no, I, if you want me to, I will, but I don't I, I want to see. I want to see how you're doing it. Okay, sure. I'm just going to put it here? Sure. That'd be pretty funny if I made an impossible task. <laughs> <laughs> funny for me. <laughs> right. I've jostled the hose around quite a bit. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to do it in the weird wrist mode that you like. <laughs> Alright, first I'm going to set myself up for success by getting that guy up. Oop, already, already failed. Alright, good start. Blue water games, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. My jaws came out wider. It wasn't perfect. Beautiful. It was, it was all right. I can try it one more time. There's gripped. Now there's just off. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, bonk. Are we playing a don't touch the operation pose yep. game? Yeah. How close can you get? So yeah, it's it's possible, but it's uh, possible. It is tricky. I bonked a couple times there. It's like holding it open enough that. Yeah. You have the advantage if you can get that twist, because I'm trying to use both fingers. I'm trying to balance the openness and the wrist rotate mm -hmm. with two different fingers. But if you are using yeah. the. Uh, I'm like using all my finger power just to keep the ri <laughs> the, the the jaws open correctly. Right, yeah. <coughs> Which is why I have it on the other wrist mode. I gotta ask all the other pilots which wrist mode they're using. Every single person on here right now is using this way. But like the for the rotate. Oh, Gabby's the only one that does it like you. Really? Everyone else uses the rocker. Wow. Okay. The more you know. <laughs> um, we talk a lot about this. <laughs> Your way's wrong. You're dumb. No, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dinner conversation. Continuous wrist? What are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nerd watch. <laughs> Nerd relationship. <laughs> this method is called the flutist. Flutist? Is oh, okay, that makes sense. That yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. it was called pencil. It's called sty officially called stylus, but okay. co common name is uh, flutist. Oh. And I don't remember what this one's called. Uh, oh. oh, we're gripping. Okay. There you go. Either no wrong, Griffin. it's called either wrong or dumb. I, I didn't get what you 
Trevor, you gotta make the buzz noise if she bonks. I'll just zap her. Oh, that's why. <laughs> this is. Oh, okay. People zap her. I'll just zap her. I need to get back. Get a bunch of nine volt batteries together and. <laughs> <laughs> Operation. <laughs> there we go. Operation. The stakes are much higher. Cheese steak. Or the stakes are much deeper. The cheese steaks. The cheese steaks are much, are much deeper. Deep dish. Deep dish cheese steaks. Is there would be talking some about? pretty soggy <laughs> cheese steaks down underwater. Oh, so yeah. nobody wants soggy cheese steaks. You want it soggy with grease, but not soggy with water. I don't know if I want Bonk. it soggy with it. Well, my jaws kind of came open at the end there. Yeah. So I found on the second time I did it, I had to go out and make him wider around the hockey puck and then narrow it uh, in again. But that was really good there, that one. Roger. I don't think I've ever had a proper Philly cheesesteak. Probably not. No, I've only ever had them in, like, cafeterias. So definitely gas not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, gas stations. I gotta get a good one. <laughs> it's like a gas station poutine. <laughs> oh, that sounds horrendous. <laughs> Doesn't McDonald's have it's poutine? Not. Yes, it does. In Canada. They, they have fries and cheese and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> and do, do you guys like McDonald's fries? I feel like everybody I loves them. Love really? The, yeah, it's I think like they're the worst fries out that there. I, how do we not for fast food. I don't I think in and outs fries are worse, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Wait, we shouldn't <laughs> be talking about this. We done. should be talking about generic uh, I've never heard that before. Generic <laughs> Generic golden arches fries. Yeah, generic, generic golden, golden arches, arches fries. Versus generic just, arrive and then leave what do you fries. Mean the worst yeah. fries. I think ever. they're too skinny and like. That's the best uh, part. I think the issue is a lot of the time the people working there don't change the oil enough, so they have like oh. this weird, like tangy, like not slimy but like filmy aftertaste. Sounds okay. like you go to a bad McDonald's. Like. Okay. But the, it's it's really frequent, which you know I, I worked in fast food and I could tell you that we probably didn't change our oil enough. Uh, how does everybody else feel about McDonald's fries? Like, like what's McDonald's your favorite fries. fry? I do too. They're, but uh, they're, the best, they're the best fast food we fries. We don't have Chick- well there's Ch Chick-fil-A in Toronto but that's the only yeah. Chick-fil-A. Is Nando's a chain? Nando's? Nando's, Nando's chicken? Yeah. I think I get fries. Um, I keep sticking my little fingers in the holes. You don't really want to do that. No I don't want to do that. Checkers has you. good fries, but I feel like the checkers are all dying. Replaced by chess. Dave, what did you say your favorite fries were? I like McDonald's. Oh, nice. Um, I think they're the best fast food <laughs> fries. Like uh, chain fast I'm, food. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, I, I'm a big fan of In-N-Out. In-N-Out, yeah. But not the fries. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They I make found their fries bad. Burgers, but the I usually, fries are... I usually have some fries with my double-double uh, animal style. But, uh, oh my god, we cannot be saying all these brand names, y'all. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not um, a sponsor. I really like Wendy's. I'll call it Wendy's. <laughs> uh, Wendy's. A, uh, a restaurant that um, misleadingly contains five guys in it, five dudes. Uh, five, I like their five fries, bros. too. They're pretty five good. Bros. Five bros. They're pretty good. <laughs> but they're like more authentic than like your typical fast food fry, because they have the potatoes in the store. Yeah, they, they make oh, them fresh. Oh, what was that? I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I need to be getting to, getting down this way a bit more, eh? Yeah. I've been really digging these ship fries, though. Mm. They do all right. That's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> you can like any of the fries in the world, as long as they're the ship fries. <laughs> I only get the Golden Arches fries when I have coupons. I don't like to pay full price. <laughs> it's really expensive in Canada. No, seriously, like yeah. are they? A large fry is like five bucks. What? Yeah. what? Yeah. It's really expensive. Well, I know like the Canada dollars are a little bit more than the American dollars. A little, but yeah. Like a seventy-five cents American is a yeah. dollar Canadian. But still, like ours is like what two dollars? Yeah, our McDonald's is really expensive for some reason. Or our gold. Oh my goodness, Golden Arches. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. I think. <laughs> Isn't Golden Arches also like part of their name? That's Our Yellow M. Our Yellow M. Yellow M. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Donalds. Mike Donalds. <laughs> yeah, if you get like a 10 piece chicken nuggets with fries, like the meal, that's going to cost you $14. Really? Whoa. Oh my god. 
Our McDonald's, manganese crusted McDonald's. Min nuggets. Uh, min nuggets. <laughs> but if you get the app, then, Lots then, there's, of then there's specials. And Isn't manganese MN, ones. not MG? Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but magnesium is MG. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah but. That's why I'd say min nuggets. Min nuggets. Min nuggets. Oh. Sorry to poke flaws in. You ruined it. Totally, totally <laughs> ruined it with facts. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, how dare we have facts on this scientific mission? <laughs> <laughs> We're here for brand name fast food only. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite fast food in general is Taco Bell, though. Despite working there for four years, it's still my favorite. Really? That says I, a lot, actually. You know, I never ate it before I started working there, either. Um, You're, like, inoculated with the Taco Bell? <laughs> and taco <laughs> Wow. Well, they, you just have the most options at Taco Bell, and you could customize everything a lot easier. So, like, I don't eat the beef there, but I can get chicken or steak in anything, so... I like Taco Bell. I can get my thumb yeah. on this thing. No, that's not helpful. In uh, in Honolulu, that's one of my two places when we when we get to shore. Taco Bell? McDonald's or Taco Bell. And they're within two blocks of each other on Baratania with a Safeway in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where I go. I can go for a crunch wrap. I tried Baja Blast for the first time mm -hmm. last month before getting on the ship. It was incredible because we don't have, like, the Baja Blast. Smoothie or whatever slushies that are oh, slushies. at our bell tea do you, bell tea bell <laughs> tea do bell. you have the like the regular soda though no oh. I had to get it at Papa John the uh, Papa, Papa John Father Jack <laughs> <laughs> Papa <No>. Joe <laughs> Father Juniper. Father Jonathan's Father <laughs> <Joe>. <laughs> I didn't know we could say the names or not we're doing a really bad job of that <laughs> Father Jonathan at Burrito Dingers <laughs> <laughs> wait. Father Jonathan's has Baja Blast. They do, <laughs> in the bottle. Can we say Baja Blast? We yeah. have to Probably say not. California Northwestern Mexico. Explosion. <laughs> <laughs> or or uh, California Fun Times. California Fun Times? Yeah. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one either. I think we could say Baja Blast. It's free advertisement. <laughs> also, like on the East Coast, it's what? What time is it right now for us? It's that's the wrong time. Ten thirty. It's ten thirty. So it's like four a.m. So the perfect time to go and get some T Bell Baja Blast on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, I want to try the real one though from T Bell because Trevor, that one, did you miss that's it? Fleshy. Yeah, the I did. The one I tried was just soda. The same flavor. Did you do it? Just yeah, perfect. I did. I did. It no, was perfect. Nice good. job. Yeah. Oh. I believe you. I bet. Thank you. One can dream. One can dream. Yeah, you guys also don't have um, Target in Canada. Yes, we, we did, do. We did for Target. a bit. Oh, yeah. not anymore, away. yeah. Oh, yeah. Went out of business. No Target? Wow. So yeah. when I was, like, with my my sister-in-law, we I'd talk about, like, because uh, I went to a baby shower up in Canada for her, and I bought all the clothes at Target, and they were like, oh, my God, it's so cute. Where did you get it? I'm like, Target. And they're like, no, we don't have it. People cross the border. Yeah, they, if you're in Toronto, you just go to Buffalo. They live, like, four hours from the – well, no, they live four hours from my brother. So they live, like – they live pretty just close to the border, like 40 it. minutes. So they, they say they'll take trips to, like, talk or not Taco Bell, Target and um, – <laughs> Target Bell. And, and like Walmart and stuff because they just say the stores are a little better. Huh. How about our favorite brands, Bullseye and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fence well, Store. Fence. <laughs> fence Store. Did you see it this time? I did, yeah. Yes. Was that a little puzzles? shake of happiness? <laughs> Maybe.
trying to think of a topic that's not food related. Good luck. Yeah, it's kind of hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> The peanut butter and jelly package. downstairs is calling my name. They have like the actual jelly now, like the strawberry wow. jelly downstairs. Cool. Might have to check that out. Here you go. Has anyone checked on Greg recently? What is that? Try one of these. Oh yeah, Greg. That? Where's Greg at? Here's some Greg. Ooh, leachy. Mm. What's well, coming at us? It's just, it's a gummy. Chewing on a gummy in the mic. Yeah. Pass oh. them around. Pass them around, leachies. Gummies. Gummies. Thank you. Thank you. They smell really good. Yeah, they're they're very oh sour, gosh. and then uh, very sweet after that. They look, like, they look like one of the jellies we'd find under at the seafloor. We got our blue water. Would front row like them? Yeah, pass yes, them on please. down the yes. front row. <laughs> pass them on down. Thank you. Oh, these are so good. Oh my gosh. A flavor explosion. Wow. Samantha turned me on to these. I might have to get some. Oh, you can get them at Safeway or various other. You probably yeah. probably get them at 7-Eleven. Uh, I saw them in Target. I just didn't know oh, what to get. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's like mm. eating a candle or in, a, in the best way possible. <laughs> or like, mm, like yeah. Just Did you say eating a candle? Chowing down on possible potpourri. Just making sure. In a great way. <laughs> yeah, I did say eating a candle. Yeah. I just put it in my calendar so I remember to get some when we get back to land. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that too. Although I'll be in Hawaii for a hot minute afterwards. Lucky you. That and like Masubi. We got any Masubi fans? I Yeah, I like Masubi. Yeah. What is that? Something it you should get when you're in Honolulu. Oh, right in the tube. Okay. <laughs> Sushi rice with yep. um, fried spam on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrapped yeah. in nori seaweed. I do need to get that. At its most basic level. I've been told to get that. I love spam. Great for breakfast. Musubi's excellent. And the Musubi over at uh, the 7 Eleven uh, at the end of the dock across the street is uh, pretty good. Going in the calendar. Why don't you go around the starboard side for a minute? So okay. you can D Dave, is 7 Eleven sponsoring you this dive? <laughs> no, it's just the closest place <laughs> to the dock to uh, get stuff. Oh, blue water. The cafe next to it is mm -hmm. really good as well. They oh, I can see it. Really there nice it lemonades and a bunch of different macaroon. macaroon. The, the cafe Macrons, that's like yeah. right across Macrons the street from the dock? Like yeah, right in the same place as the 7-Eleven. Okay. Cool. I'm going to try that out. Yeah. And full meals. The, the macarons are great. <coughs> oh, the banh mi there is yeah, really good, too. Bon oh, the banh mi. And bon they have banh mi that you can dip in fish sauce. Like it comes with a little thing oh. of sweet fish sauce. Delicious. Okay, <laughs> now what? <laughs> that's what uh, I want. I would take it if you're. We were going to top. We were going to stop talking about food, if right? If you <laughs> feel confident, you won't that pull one of them out. We then were. try to touch the top of each one of the push cords. I'll just keep my jaws Dragon. closed. Yeah, they do have hooks, so you, oh. they, you can hang on. Okay. Don't, but like, if you're if you don't want to risk it, that's fine. You can bring I it back around. I will be around. so 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 gentle. Yeah. Just come Thanks. up from the side and just don't pull up. I'm, I'm good. I think you. I, I think you'll be fine. Okay. Way over there, what am I doing? I'm interested in knowing how ROV pilots become ROV pilots. What do you study and how do you get into this outside of the internships that OET offers? Uh, I think every single person out here right now came from a different background. Mm. 
anything That's about two. that. Uh, okay, well, I guess I think Michael was an intern and is now returning as a contractor. Annabelle's the intern. Uh, the other co-pilot is Karen. I don't know Karen's backstory, but she came from Karen uh, 14 was years of ROV industry experience. Wow. Yeah, she was a repair person for, I think, Schilling or something? That sounds right. I don't know what her background is before then. And then she worked for Ambari. She works for Ambari works still. Works for Ambari now, yeah. Uh, and then the other ones of us, we have uh, PhD in ocean engineering, we have a mechanical engineering bachelor's degree, and a chemistry engineering, or, sorry, chemistry bachelor's degree. The other three of us, and yeah, every single person comes from it in a different way. Uh, being in the right place at the right time helps a lot, and having a variety of experiences so that you can bring a Boop. unique perspective to the team is also extremely valuable. Boop. Okay, I think I got all of them. Cool. Can I give you another one? Sure. Okay. Once you you're halted. Halt it. Halt it? Okay. And uh, just make it safe and pass it over. <coughs> Here you go. Okay. So we can also do sample salvo for this if you want. Let's do a quick gauge check, actually. Roger that. Gauge check. I'm not going to be paying attention while I'm doing that, though. Great. Yep. Yeah. You can, I mean, just uh, just look at them, it's fine. Oh, like not an just official one, just look yeah, at them? Yeah, just look at them, it's okay. fine. Uh, Make sure everything's happy, yeah, we're good, thanks. Um, all right, the next boot puzzle. Get a little closer, so, oop, I didn't do it myself, here we go, so push down on the top of them. Mm -hmm. So when you take a push cord and you put it back in, to make sure it's seated on the little rubber bung at the bottom, you come in from the top and you push down on it. So I don't only just drop it in the holster, I actually go to the push core. Once I've dropped it in there and I push down, plug it up with the little rubber bung at the bottom of the quiver. All see, right. see if you can get that, push down on it. Now you notice how my wrist pitch mm -hmm. is in a way that it allows my wrist yaw to go like this. If you end up in the same spot like this, then all of a sudden you can't get there. Mm -hmm. You can do this, which doesn't really work. So there's kind of a limitation on your joints where you have to be like this in order to get that side flapping motion. Okay. Make sense? Roger. Chat has woken up from a 20-minute slumber. All right, there you are. Good morning, chat. <laughs> Is everyone going to do ROV arm manipulation and Tai Chi in the lounge after this? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to make a sandwich and go to bed. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. What kind I'm of sandwich? I'm going to head down Jack. to the lab yes. and process samples. Oh. Oh, that's exciting. I want to see samples. samples. I want to get in there at one point. This is the point. Yeah. Is this the point? <laughs> Can I? Yeah. We've had people come and look over our shoulders while you're processing. You're welcome. I, welcome I to will. Join, yeah. Um, and then Annabelle needs a picture with the rock that she. Yeah. It'll That's still right. be around yeah. tomorrow if she oh, wants what is to sleep. But. Because uh. rocks don't <laughs> go anywhere. Uh. <laughs> As we but know uh, right now. <laughs> you're learning the most important arm, arm skill of all, which is what idiot left it like this? Oh, no. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, my wrist. <laughs> it's so oh. stiff. There we go. But we don't have that many biology samples there today, so it should be pretty quick. So yeah. the easiest one is the farthest one away. So I recommend starting there. Okay. So I gotta reach way, way back here, and not into the ROV. Mm-hmm. And make sure.